How on earth do you find an NFT before they blow up? Well, you can use a tool called Discord, and people like Gary V use this to find the next Board API Club. So how do you use it? Well, we're going to dive into that on this clip from the New Normal podcast, which is one of the biggest podcasts in all of crypto. But before we get into it, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you liked it. Make sure it looks like it was liked, not like you missed it on the top. No, like it, and then maybe even subscribe to this channel because you do not want to miss this clip. Because if you want to find the next Board Ape Yacht Club, you better take notes. Enjoy. The older you dig it, the more rules are going to try to get you to follow <laughs> He's got to keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. We just drop into an NFT project. We're looking in the Discord, and we want to see if it's the next Board Ape Yacht Club. You're looking through the Incubator Discord, right? Is this when, hashtag when, is this going to be the next Board Ape Yacht Club? What are you looking for in the community such that it can tell you what's going on? Yeah, one thing I love is um, Gary V. when he is studying NFT projects, the main thing he look looks at and watches is literally the discord he just lurks in discords and is stu- just studying them to see what's going on how's the vibe you know and he's he's basing a lot of his judgments off of that and it just tells you how much how important a strong community is and so what does that look like what is he looking for you know what are we looking for i'm personally looking for just conversation right like you're having meaningful in-depth conversations right like whether you're talking about the game you're playing or you're just catching up on like what'd you eat for dinner or how was your weekend you know just like conversation right i think that's step one step two is are people helping each other right it's one thing if like the creators and the, the core team or whoever is kind of running the community is stepping in and helping that's amazing that's great but are other people stepping in and helping each other? You know, when someone's having a, a tough time or they lost some money or whatever, are people just naturally being like feeling this like kinship to like be like, oh my God, my friend in this Discord who I don't know, I care about them. I, w- I need to help them, right? I need to send them a little Ethereum because they lost something or I need to help them answer their questions or untangle the mess they got stuck in. You know, are people helping each other? Uh, because communities that help each other thrive together. No, take um, note on that. Everyone listening, take note of that. That's why we try and help each other as much as possible. That's why it's the, part of the mission statement. Yeah. And then I think the other thing is like, <laughs> is it fun, right? Like are people vi- like, not just the conversations, but like, are people sharing, you know, are they sharing the emojis, sharing the stickers, like, are they like doing the inside, are there inside jokes, right? Like some of the things that we've, a lot of the things we've outlined throughout here, are they speaking in this kind of native community language? If not, then maybe there's something missing, right? Like there's not this like common ground to bring everyone together. So if you don't see those kind of things being shared and and stuff in a community, like if there's no custom emojis, that's not good news, right? Um, or if someone says something awesome and it only gets one emoji, <laughs> when, meanwhile, there's 10,000 people in there. Well, well that, that seems a little weird, right? Like there's not engagement, right? And so when someone says awesome, something awesome, like I just got a new job or you know whatever, something that we should all celebrate, there should be 10 fire emojis on there at least, you know, and, and like, um, depending on the size of your community, of course. And so seeing that kind of level of like engagement with each other and celebrating your wins together and helping each other and, you know, all the things we've covered throughout this episode. Checking in and then seeing somebody help somebody else. I, I will say is one of the most rewarding things about building a community or, or being part of the growth process of a community because it takes every member to grow a community. That's why communities are beautiful because it literally takes every community member. If there is a group of three or four or five community members who are trying to take down the vibe, they can do it decently with five messages, even if they get kicked out immediately. Like that can do it. Everyone has something to add, everyone, right? And so I think that's that's always how I look, I approach every conversation with every person I meet. Like there, everyone has something to add and something I can learn and anything. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much a lot of how the incubator is formed and like the format and the structure is because of people in the community. Like sometimes uh, the goal accountability on Wednesday or Monday, not Wednesday, what are you nuts? Goal accountability is Mondays. (laughs) Um, 
at the end of the each each time we talk about how we can improve the incubator what tweaks can we do what where do we change things because everybody's living it and people see it from a different perspective right some people may be more crypto native meaning that they're able to follow things a little bit more closely so something that's simple for them might not be as simple for a beginner or somebody who's just getting into crypto so then it's like okay maybe we need to focus on how to how to make their lives easier and then it's like okay i've been here for since the beginning somebody just joined yesterday and i don't really know how to navigate it okay maybe we need to work on our navigation maybe we need to figure something out there like iterating and figuring it out but asking your community is the one tool and the one life hack that I don't think enough communities are doing, frankly. I think you have a direct access to people who are in, want it to succeed. Like, fucking, like, ask them how, how, how to do it. No, that is that is a great point. And I think that's another aspect of a strong community is, is like, are the cur the people who are managing the community, is it is it changing and growing to meet the community's needs, right? Like, if you go into the Discord one day and then you re revisit it a month later, have you seen things improve and grow and change based on probably feedback, you know? Mm -hmm. So you're looking, if you want to be Gary Vee, start lurking in the Discord and look to see how active it is, see what the vibe is. If you made it this far, that means that you enjoyed the clip from the New Normal podcast. That also means that you would enjoy being part of the Incubator Discord community. This is a free community where thousands of people are changing their lives every day as they learn about crypto. So join that, which is linked in the description below, and introduce yourself. I'm looking forward to having a conversation there. Thanks for watching. Till I'm dead.